welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about independent and dependent variables. So let's go ahead and start with that by taking a look at a few key terms. So here the key term that we need to remember is that relations show a connection between x values and y values. So let's take a closer look at those connections by understanding the definitions and meanings behind independent and dependent variables. So here we're going to label our vocabulary terms with our definitions and identify it in this relation that we have to the left. So we have a table that has the number of people and the number of pets. And remember, the number of people is going to be our x value or our input. We've already talked about that. The number of pets is going to be our y value or the output. We've already talked about that. Now the independent variable is the words that are used to describe the in or input or x values. So in this case, our input is the number of people. So our independent variable is the number of people. The dependent variable is the words that we use to describe the input or the y values. So in this particular relation, that's the number of pets. So now let's take a look at this in a few examples. So here we are at example A, and it has a table for us that has inches of snow and number of snow days. And it wants us to label the independent variable and the dependent variable in this relation. So the independent variable, again, is going to be our x value, or our input. It's going to be the thing that controls the dependent variable. So if we look at it, we say, which one controls the other? Do the inches of snow control the number of snow days? Or do the number of snow days control how many inches of snow there are? So the inches of snow is going to be our independent variable, because that's going to be the thing that controls the number of snow days, which is the dependent variable. Now let's take a look at this in a graph. So here in example B, we've got a graph that talks about the age and weight of eight dogs, and it wants us to identify the independent variable and the dependent variable. Remember, on a graph, it's a little easier for us because we have an x-axis, which is at the bottom, or going across horizontally, and we have a y-axis that's going to go up vertically. So that's easy for us to identify by using the independent and dependent variable by remembering the x coordinates with the independent and the y coordinates with the dependent. So in this case, we can see the age of the dog is across the bottom, so that's going to be our independent variable, and the weight of the dog is going up the side, so that is going to be our dependent variable. Now let's take a look at the next example. Here at example C, we have a relation being represented by words. It says Bonnie is an influencer. She is paid by advertisers based on the number of subscribers on her social media networks. So we need to determine the independent variable and the dependent variable. And this is a little trickier. We don't have a table set up for us to easily identify the X is first and the Y is second. We don't have a graph to label the axis for us. So we need to understand and read the problem and determine which thing is being affected and which thing is doing the affecting. So in this case, we've got two things that we're talking about, numbers of sub subscribers and being paid by advertisers. Those are the two things. So we need to figure out which thing is affecting the other. So based on the number of subscribers, she's going to be getting paid more money. So her independent variable is the number of subscribers, and her dependent variable is the amount she's going to get paid, because the number of subscribers affects how much she gets paid. Now let's take a look at the last example. So here again in example D, we have another word problem, but they've also included an equation for us, and we have to identify the independent and dependent variable. So the grade on the project, P, is two points off per day late, letter D, subtracted from the total of 16 total possible points. So we've got an equation down there. We could read through and determine which thing is focusing and which thing is being affected, which thing's not being affected. But I'm going to use my equation because I know that I've seen equations where all of our equations are going to be y equals something. And then usually we have an x on the other side. So if I can remember that, I know that my P is going to be the Y in this particular case, and I know the D is going to be the X in this particular case. Now that also makes sense when I read the problem, because the number of days late is going to be the thing that's affecting the project's grade. So the independent variable is the number of days late, and the dependent variable is the project grade. Because uh, again, if the project is late the next number of days, that's going to be the thing that affects the project grade. The project grade does not affect how many days late it was. So that brings us to the end of this problem. It also brings us to the end of this set of notes. If you like this video, go ahead and throw us a thumbs up. If you love this video, go ahead and throw us a sub, and we will catch you in the next one.